it uh, g gives me great honor and pleasure to send my greetings and my tribute as uh, the presidency of Ben comes to a close. Ben has been president for the last, uh, what, 12 years? And I can say that from my perspective, the university is in a much, much better place today than when Ben assumed the leadership in 2016. I've always thought that the presidency of a Christian university like Silliman is unique as compared to the presidency of a, uh, a secular university. I think that the Silliman president should be able to lead and guide the university in its organizational governance. But equally, and perhaps more importantly, he or she should be able to inculcate in its students, faculty, staff, alumni, and the whole Silliman community worldwide, the values and tenets of Christianity. Ben has done an exemplary job at both. Not only is the university in a better fiscal situation in its existential timeline, but that under Ben's leadership, the university has attained a new relevance in society by engaging in ongoing debates and discussions on important issues which affect all of us. I have always said that Ben is not only president of Silliman University, but that he is also the pastor in chief. I say that in a good way. Uh, of course, with due respect to our university pastors. Ben has always managed to make his messages and speeches as sermons in themselves appropriately tying it in with the scriptures, not just any part of the scriptures, but more pointedly, the admonition of Jesus Christ for us to follow him. I gather from Ben's pronouncements that the way for Silimanians to be useful and contributory members of society is for us to be the witness and the embodiment of Jesus Christ wherever we are, to walk His way, to speak His truth, to live the life He lived, to be the Via Veritas Vita. Thank you, Ben, for your commitment to and stewardship of the university. I wish you and Gladys all the best as you transition into the next phase of your life. I won't say retirement because I don't know uh, what else you plan to do. But I sure hope to see more of you in our class gatherings. By the way, uh, Ben and I have been, were classmates in high school. We graduated together in 1970. And Taking a cue from those ahead of us, I think that the best way to spend our twilight years is with people who were important part of our past. And you, my friend, you and I have a lot of good memories to reminisce together. God bless.